This question belongs to operating system subject and was asked in GATE CSE 2023. The question states, which one of the following CPU scheduling algorithms can potentially cause starvation? First in first out, round robin, priority or shortest job first. So first of all, let us understand what is the meaning of starvation. So starvation means indefinite waiting of a process. Waiting of a process. So what happens? Suppose we have a pool of processes and some new processes are being entered over here and we have CPU and CPU is selecting any one of the algos to schedule the process. Now suppose there is a particular process. First time it is denied as some other process is given priority over it. But starvation occurred when new process keeps on coming and every time this process gets denied. If there is such a condition then starvation will occur. So let us see all the options one by one. So we have first in first out. Let us suppose process P1, P2, P3, P4 and P5 comes. Let us suppose then P2 wants to execute but suffers from starvation as P1 is executing. Do not suffer from starvation has to wait as P1 is executing. It might execute in 100 years or 200 years but it will definitely complete. When P1 completes, P2 will get a chance. Is there a possibility that a new process comes and gets scheduled before P2? No, as it is first in first out. So there is no starvation. Let us see the second case. Second case is round robin. So what happens in round robin? Suppose we have some processes like this. P1, P2, P3 and P4. If this is the initial set setup. Then we have some, some time quantum. It can be anything. 100 year, 10 year, 10 second. Let's suppose 10 seconds. Then each process gets to execute for 10 seconds. Then again the first process gets. Again all the processes get executed for 10 seconds. So it's basically a preemptive algorithm where each process is given a chance. So is there a possibility of a starvation of a process? No. As whatever high be the, the time quantum, it is 100 years. If it is 100 years, then definitely it, there is a possibility that it, P2 has to wait for 100 years, but it will get a chance for sure. And can a new process P5 come and make sure that P2 doesn't get a chance? No. P5 can also take part in this process but can't ensure that P2 do not get its chance. P2 will definitely get a chance. So round robin is also false. Now let us take the third one. Round robin also didn't suffer from starvation. Suppose we have a process pool. CPU is selecting from the pool based on the algo. Let us suppose we have three processes. This takes time 10 units. This takes 20 units, this takes uh, 100 units. Okay. So, can so what will happen? P1 will execute, then P2 will execute. Will P3 suffer from starvation? You may assume it will not suffer, but assume bef uh, like before P3 gets scheduled, another process P4 comes with 12 quantum. So, P4 will get scheduled before P3. Now, again, before after completion of P4, before P3 ex get executed, another process P5 comes with 13. So new processes may keep coming with lower time quantums with lower burst time than 100. So they will keep on executing and P3 has to wait for indefinite time. So priority will suffer from starvation as P3 might keep on waiting and new smaller processes might keep on coming. Let us see option 4. It is so sorry. So we have seen shortest job first. Option 3. Now let us see priority. Suppose we have P1, P2 and P3 with some priorities like 1, 2 and 10. Lower number means higher priority. So P1 will get executed as higher priority then P2 will get executed. Let us suppose before executing P3 another process comes P4 with lesser priority like 5 then P4 will get executed. Now assume an another new process comes with priority 6 so P5 will get executed and P3 will keep on waiting till higher priority processes will keep on coming and it can happen for infinite time. Thus, priority will also suffer from starvation. So answer is option C and D both will suffer from starvation, priority scheduling and shortest of first.